The first of the home nation teams, and we saw them towards the latter stages competing in the Baltic Cup last week. One of the last teams to skate now here in the earlier stages in Enya. Noemi Maria Tali and Stefano Frasca. Yeah, seventh at the Baltic Cup last week. Their personal best, 57.24. They'll skate the tango to oblivion in Asturias. and Stefano Frasca from Italy and Naomi will be a little frustrated with the bubble on the twizzles for her and just now looking at the technical panel's assessment of this rhythm dance looks like they deemed some of the choreographic lifting at the beginning to be recognized as the actual lift so it'll be interesting to see whether or not there'll be some big repercussions on the score for the Italians yeah, they have some work to do actually on the list of elements too. If you can take a look now, you can see that. So the technical pedal might take a bit. They have three reviews coming in. But they got a nice look, nice performance level, some technical questions, of course. No key points. So another team with no yeses. And that will end up to be a little costly, of course. They're 57.24. Is their season's best as we look at some of the replays. And that was the issue there. That opening lift, technical panel considered that may have been off the ice for three seconds and a mm. lift callable if it's off the ice for three seconds, but hopefully that won't. Yeah, went in as a stationary lift and it's still being looked at, of course. Here's and the twist. Here yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, shame. So she will lose the feature with the leg catch there. And it looks like it might just come in as a level one. So relative, it's difficult, isn't it, Ted? Because 
she'll lose so many points with that. But this, not to say this isn't a great team. This team, I think, of all those that have competed so far, looks the most senior in their approach, the most refined in their style. Just mm, struggling with the technical stuff today. Yeah, I agree. The maturity is there. A nice performance, but it was a little unsteady, and clearly they had some challenging technical with no key points. Level one of the twizzles for Noemi, and level one on the midline steps as well, so not what they want or need to be in contention on the technical side. And interestingly, looking back at the archives, that there have been so many really successful senior ice dance teams from Italy. We've seen Capolini, Lanotti, Federica Faella, Massimo Scali, so many brilliant world medalists from Italy. They haven't had as much success on the junior ranks, so maybe it's just that these Italian teams take a little bit longer to mature, but when they do, they are very special. Well, they have a great ice dance community here in Italy and, mm -hmm. and competitive. I mean, they've got competitive yeah. coaching teams in different locations. So that bodes well for the senior uh, teams here in Italy. But as you said, it might take a little bit longer uh, for these teams to develop uh, as juniors. And some quite often these teams may not get together to quite a bit later yes. in their skating careers, right? So it takes longer. So 57.24 is their season's best. And it's a 49.92, so that is a significant blow. And you can see that coach going, whoa, what happened here? And they will take a look at that scoring very quickly on the monitor behind the wall here backstage. They want to